hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i am going to blow dry my hair i haven't blow dried my hair in i don't even know when it's been like two years but this video has been highly recommended plus it's cold and i'm tired of my hair dripping on the back of my neck you know when winter time hits you need some warmth on the head so i figured it's a perfect time to try to straighten my hair and also do a link check because it's been so long so what I did was I washed my hair last night in the shower. I detangled it and then I put it in four braids. Yes, I know I look like Felicia. Yeah, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But yeah, I put my hair in four braids so it would be easier to get this process going. And yeah, so if you want to see how I go from this to this, then you want to keep on watching. Okay. So, there's three things that is very, very important if you decide to straighten your hair. I'm not against straightening my hair, but I am very cautious due to experiencing heat damage in the past. So, three tips I just want to give you guys if you decide to do it. First tip is make sure your scalp is nice and cleansed as well as do a nice deep condition because you're about to put heat on your hair so you want to protect your hair as much as possible next you want to make sure that your hair is nice and detangled before you apply any heat to your hair so you don't pull any you know pull any hair out while you're you know manipulating your hair and lastly make sure this listen this this is the key point this is where some of us mess up at you need to put a heat protectant on top of your hair and I'm not talking about just coconut oil. I'm talking about like a heat protectant because if not, you can experience heat damage and then that's for another story. But yeah, we're going to jump right into this video. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm going to be using today as well as what hair tool I'm going to be using to blow dry my hair. So first I'm going to be using this product called Chi Silk Infusion. This is my first time actually trying it, but I heard great things about it. It's um, Silk Reconstructing Complex, and it says to apply a small amount onto the palm of hand, work healing through hair, leave-in, and proceed with styling. So I'm going to put this on, as well as my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Blow Drying Cream by Shea Moisture. And I've been using this for a while. I like the way it smells, and I haven't had any issues with heat damage when applying this. So, yeah. Those are the products that I'm going to be using. And are y'all ready to see what I'm about to blow dry my hair with? Are y'all ready to see what I'm about to use? A lot of you don't know about it, but I'm about to put y'all on right now. Heavier than me, y'all. I struggle. I'm about to use the Rev Air Blow Dryer. Y'all see this whole concoction right here? It's a reverse air dryer. And it's great to blow dry your hair. It doesn't have a lot of heat. And, of course, it's reversing. The heat so it's not directly applying the heat which causes heat damage um it's also easy to blow dry your hair so you're not sitting there for hours with the blow dryer and your arm is hurting it literally dries your hair within seconds and it stretches it so and it leaves your hair nice and soft so once i do that i'm gonna probably go ahead and use a flat iron and i that i'm scared of a flat iron y'all I don't know what it is about a flat iron, but when I, like I told y'all, when I had that heat damage and sis went over my, my hair like 20 times with the one piece, the thought of me even using it again, I don't even know, but I'm in control this time. So I'm probably going to go ahead and flat iron my hair once it's all blow dry. Let me just stop talking. We're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with one piece at a time because when you work in sections, it makes, the, makes life much easier. is like still damp not too wet I honestly don't like when my hair is too wet because then it takes longer the less heat the better but it's nice and detangled I made sure I detangled it last night to apply some of the blow drying cream just a little bit focus on them ends make sure you properly coat every strand to protect them Going with the Chi Silk Infusion, because I need double protection. You heard? Double. It'd be great if I took the top off. I ain't got time to be having no more trials and tribulations with their hair. 
because I was really scarred when I had to big chop again. Like I did a mini big chop due to going to a hair salon and sis gave me heat damage. Ooh, this smells nice. My Tangle Teaser brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer, the Rev Air blow dryer. And as you can see, oh, it's a little dusty, y'all. That's how you know I haven't used it. Um, there's different settings, so the highest level that it can go to is level seven. But I'm not trying to do that, that much heat. So I'm just gonna start off with level four, just to see how I, how my hair does with it because it's already almost dry. And then there's one or two on here, I guess high or low. So I'm just gonna try the high with the level four and see how it goes. So let's go. To glide down as I straighten it but of course I can't find it the day I want to record so we just going to use this fire texture pro comb that I love oh so much and a little more chi silk infusion to give my hair some shine my hair is so thick like even with this tiny section it still feels super like thick and puffy and my hair never was like this when i had my relax hair and relax today is all right let's go pray for me oh my god i'm so scared lord i'm doing this and i'm being safe about this so i'm asking you for no heat damage in your name i pray amen let's do this
I am done. My hair is still super thick. But what I do is I wrap my hair. If you take a second. Oh, no hair. Who this? My hair has grown so long. I can't believe it. But I definitely need my ends trimmed. So the key to long hair is to properly clip your ends when they need to be clipped. I know a lot of us like to hold on to them because we're scared of, you know, short hair. But you need to clip them ends. And my hair is just flourishing and I love it. I am so proud of the growth from where I came from to now. Yes. So yeah, my arms are hurting. I'm tired. It was a process, but I definitely enjoyed it. So now I'm going to wrap my hair and I will show you guys how to do that in another video. If you want to see how I preserve my hair, my straight hair, and how I put my hair in a doobie wrap. Um, make sure you comment down below and I'll show you guys. So if you're interested in purchasing the Rev Air blow dryer, I'll be sure to post the link in the description below so you can get the blow dryer. It's a bit pricey, but it's so worth it. And it, it definitely shortens the blow drying time so you're not here forever. So yeah, I hope you guys like my video. I hope you like my hair straight. I hope you like my results. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, then you need to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.